We have changed higher education forever because of the work of the disenfranchised. The curriculum is more diverse because of us. You have daycare policies in place because more women started coming to institutions of higher education. We introduced the concept of public engagement through our work that we did through Chicano studies and African American studies and how it was important to be connected to community. Antonio Tony Zavala and Ruth Pushet Taniqua, who was from the Tama Settlement. The three of us started meeting and talking about how we could recruit and what we could do to help the university to make the institution more diverse. And so we hit the road recruiting. We didn't know what we were doing, but we just knew we were on a mission of some sort. Through all that, I became educated in the communities of the Midwest. The community was critical, and I will never forget that. And so I feel forever indebted not only to the University of Iowa, but to the broader community that really just embraced us. The Spanish-speaking population, as they were categorized in those days, had over 30,000 people in the state of Iowa. And then all of a sudden I asked myself, well, if there are so many of us, why were there only 42 students of color at Iowa? And um, my whole life changed, and that's how I became an educator. Rusty Barcelo left a great legacy. My research into her life really showed me that you can be extraordinary in your ordinary life. And what she did on, on campus really inspired me. Seeing the small group of students make so much change uh, really influenced me into doing some activism in the College of Education, which resulted in organizing a group of Latinx graduate students. The Latinx community is growing, not only in the nation, but in Iowa. We were able to pair with the Diversity Committee and start the development of the first Latinx Excellence in the Midwest Conference. There's this constant engagement around those kinds of things now. It's kind of exciting. And so I always say, so how can diversity continue to be a strategic tool for the continued transformation of higher education?